Mr. Sarif Salam, my name is Khurshid Al Hassan Khan. It's a pleasure meeting you. Thank you, sir. Okay, uh, we'll start now. The reason we are here is to interview a company, a legend. Uh, getting KFC and Hardee's and all, anybody can get an agency, it's not that. It's the people who continue maintaining that with a big resolve. Because why I told you that you people are my heroes? When your company started the KFC, I think it was... From, I'm here from 1966, by the way. Okay. Sheikh Rashid's time. So that KFC would be empty all the time. Nobody knew the taste of a uh, southern fried chicken. What is it? Who's this uh, Colonel Sanders and all these things? You were before your time. You started, people didn't know about this. So that showroom would be empty maybe for one year. And the owner kept paying the salaries, the showroom costs. They didn't give up. Yeah. That's the resolve I want to tell other viewers who run away very fast. Oh, this is not working, that is not working. You people did not give up. And then you not only with KFC and that, you started taking other agencies also. Yeah. Except for McDonald's, that you missed out on. But the rest is all yours. And not only, another thing I'll tell you, if you're opening in Dubai, if you see the accommodation of the uh, Kuwait Food Company, the building in Sharjah, ladies section, gents section, the hygiene, the security, the investment in and, people. and the, the transport, the way they distribute to all these, you know, they have so many outlets, I think even they forget how many they have sometimes. But every bus is for each venue, where to drop home, when to bring them back. And, uh, you know, backup people, when somebody is sick, ah, that planning is a nightmare, I wouldn't be able to do it. But they have succeeded. My congratulations. Thank you so much. So, would you like to tell us how you got that resolve, what gave you that faith? Yeah. Sorry. Uh, let me give you a brief about the business. Uh, Americana Group, it's a, a big company with a turnover of almost $3 billion a year. 50% of this uh, turnover is basically in the restaurants. Uh, which is the chains that you have uh, talked about. It's very successful in the Middle East, in the region, uh, from Morocco to Lebanon, including GCC and everything. The other 50% of this turnover, it's a uh, manufacturing business. And we represent here uh, two businesses of this, the Americana Cake, which is uh, on this side of the, the booth, and California Garden, which is uh, our company. Uh, and there are the rest of manufacturing uh, businesses are uh, like uh, Greenland in dairy business in Egypt, Senorita uh, uh, for snacks business. We are in different uh, lines of businesses. Uh, uh, excuse me for a moment. What about these burgers and all? They all are all American. Uh, which one? The, the frozen burgers which you supply. Yes, in the which is Americana meat. It's meat. in this side okay. of. Uh, okay, you have different sections. In yes. It. Okay. So Americana Meat, it's the, a very big factory uh, uh, stationed in uh, Jeddah. Americana One more ingredient which, you, which is part of your organization is the buns. Do you have your own bakery also? Yes. You make your own buns. Yes. And okay. also we have uh, a business uh, in fresh uh, salads and fresh uh, croissants and things like that in Kuwait. So the business is extremely diversified. Here, the place you are sitting in, it's, it belongs to California Garden, which is the canned food business, okay. which is the beans, uh, sweet corn, uh, mushrooms, tuna, uh, corned beef, and uh, different type of canned food business. Okay. Okay. This organization or this company established like 20 years back, okay. and all the things that you have talked about, which is uh, the, uh, the, the passion, uh, that was available and still stayed with the management and the people who developed this business and took it up to this stage. It started with a very small, tiny business. Uh, no one at that time knew the, the, the canned beans in this part of the world. And they didn't. And I think the beans you started with full modamas. Full modamas. That's the most famous beans. Yes, beer. yes. And then what gave us the, the, the leap and the edge is innovation because if you will continue for 20 years just producing plain food uh, somehow you're gonna stuck in the way 
and also competition with Ghana uh, because Either it's not the rocket science, you know. So, so innovation is the key here. Uh, and then we took the business to what we call ready to eat, which is the plain food with additives, with different recipes. Canned in different yeah. recipes. Yeah, different the same canned, different taste recipes. Because the more years, uh, since 20 years back till now, the females are not have enough time to go and take the plain food and things have changed. So things have changed. So you have to uh, provide them with a ready to eat. So it's very good option for bachelors. It's very good option for ladies with kids. You they don't have time. You have given me an out sometime when I have an argument with my wife. Yeah. And she doesn't give me any dinner. <laughs> I just open a can of food. Just Madamas open it and eat it. And the Lebanese style with the chickpeas inside. Great. 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 <laughs> That's a new recipe. It I is. came across here. But we have it. <laughs> I know. We have Lebanese with the... Ah, you, have, uh, you yeah. haven't uh, tasted before. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, the innovation helps to continue with this business, to continue growing to give you an edge against uh, competition. Correct, very right. So, uh, what if, I mean, as you said, you have given me the whole story of that, not only because the owners were Kuwaiti and they had money, no, even though when you have money and you're just spending, even uh, if you're full of, uh, uh, well full of money, you will get empty. It's money, the resolve, it's the will. Money, money alone cannot do anything. Uh, you, you need, uh, money, of course. You need the idea, the uh, innovation. You need the people. You know, you need the passion. Now I'll I'll prove to you uh, that I came to the right company for this interview as an example for others. When you go to the residence, that place, I have used to sell insurance, uh, medical. I went to that place. It was crowded. You know, they have all the employees and coming and going. But the way I was directed, believe me, that was professional. So, you know, they, they, cannot, they should not take into oh, this is an insurance guy. But they sent me to the right place, which floor, where, which lift to press. Although the lifts are old, boy, lifts, I agree. They were still renovating their building. But they sent me to the right place, the guy was busy. He took, came out, he took his head out of the door to excuse me. Just please wait for five minutes. I am busy. I mean, that respect and all that is by, by training. Nobody can, I mean, you cannot hire people who are already trained. You have to mold them into your life. Yes. Yeah, you have to put your yeah. set of values and principles. And then uh, we are a very diversified organization. We have people from different nationalities, from different backgrounds. Diversity is something very good. Uh, and it adds a lot of values uh, to the organization. But the more the important thing is the inclusion. It's how you take all these people with different backgrounds, males, females. I was coming to that. How can you put them in one accommodation together? They cannot stick together. No, but this is the point. <laughs> this is the challenge. When you have a clear mission and vision and set of values and principles, and you cascade this properly to every single uh, person in the organization, and they believe, because they see the senior management and the middle management, they are walking the talk. It's not just a blah, blah, blah. It's not a piece of paper you put it on a wall. It's, you live it. You live your values. Then, uh, what confirms what I'm telling you is that I was attending uh, the, the year-end closing ceremony. And then we were celebrating people who had spent uh, five years and 10 years and 20 years. Usually, you, you see uh, uh, people who have spent 20 years and above are very small number. And when you say people uh, five years plus, it was the other way around, which is very, it was really very interesting to me that when we started to celebrate the people have been with us for five years, few people, 10 years, and then you see 15 years and 20 years, a lot of people. So this is part of the success criteria to this organization, that people when they join, they don't do the job and every day they are looking for a different opportunity outside. You know? Okay, I, I'll, I'll interrupt you here because uh, these things are coming back to my mind and uh, that, I mean, it's the, the compliment should be given to you rightfully, you deserve that compliment. When we go to a pizza hut in Sharjah, there is one, they, 
they, because of that sanad which you give, you know, that one yeah. plate and food. My wife is an expert to make it into a pyramid. Yeah. And it doesn't fall when she's taking it. Question. There we had a music was playing loudly on our head. And just told that the hostess. And the way she handled it, she went to the next table, please, if you don't mind if I lower the music, these guests are being bothered by it. So it's training. And that's the Amazing. Yeah. She's well trained. Yeah. And she respects the customers. And no, in other places, you know what would have happened? Sorry, we cannot control it. Yeah. There are other people listening to it. They don't care. <laughs> so really, thank you very much. It You're was most a pleasure. Welcome. And pleasure is all mine. I wish you all the best. Thank and you so I much. I hope you get more and more. Because thank people you. like you will handle them better. Get more agencies. Thank you so much. Okay. Thank pleasure. you very much. Thank you very much. Bye.